A statement from instructor Carlos zeroed in on Durham School. I've committed my whole calling to empowering an explicit hypothesis about the universe. Then, at that point, this happens, the hypothesis is being kept an eye on. I embrace this test since it is through such looking that we advance and make progress in science. The James Webb Space Telescope is essentially upsetting some lengthy held convictions in cosmology that have been perceived as truth for 100 years. One more ultra track down picture has uncovered that we have committed errors in space science. The telescope, which was planned to reveal the central stars of the universe, is genuinely problematic. The past perspective could present a totally new authentic viewpoint. Not all specialists are lamented about these new divulgences. Different experts are inviting these degrees of progress since it has for a significant length of time been clear that there were issues with our past theories. The anomalies in surveying the universe's pace of improvement alone ought to have brought caution up for any situation specialists. A shockingly long time ago, rather than precisely unwinding these alerts, many stuck to obsolete hypothesis. The cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, which is the most antiquated light in the universe, was made about 380,000 years after the Big Bang, when the universe had sufficiently cooled for electrons and protons to frame stable hydrogen particles. This change, known as reionization, made the universe straightforward to light. The CMB was first distinguished in 1964 by American physicists Arnold Penzias and Robert Wilson while they were dealing with new radio collector innovation. They experienced a steady clamor coming from each heading. Above this, Revelation was at first thought of solid proof for the theory of the universe's origin. Penzias and Wilson were awarded the Nobel Prize, and their discoveries turned into a significant establishment in the historical backdrop of space science. The CMB most likely gives a brief look into the early universe, with minute temperature changes offering fundamental pieces of information about the circumstances soon after the huge explosion. Researchers utilized the CMB as a reliable marker to gauge huge bits of the material universe, including the universe's extension rate. Edwin Hubble had previously made such evaluations in the late 1920s. He saw that far-off cosmic systems were creating some distance from us in all directions and that their speed was connected with their distance, a relationship now known as the Hubble regulation or the Hubble consistent. Not enduring the truth that Hubble's evaluations were not as exact as they are today, they were significant when the CMB was found. Specialists recalculated the extension rate, viewing it as fundamentally lower than Hubble's underlying appraisal. Subsequent recalculations utilizing type IA supernovae as standard candles gave a more exact gauge. Anyway, errors remained, and the contrast in extension rate gauges has been known since the 1990s. Specialists have guessed that there may be issues with the CMB information investigation techniques or the idea of general development. This uniqueness, known as the S8 pressure or Hubble strain, proposes that how we might interpret the universe might be in a general sense defective. Since the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, began its tasks, it has given phenomenal information that could assist with making sense of the issue. Worlds so old and mature that their formation may hypothetically have begun before the Big Bang are challenging old logical hypotheses. Space science presently faces what is thought of to be the best emergency in present-day cosmology. The development pace of the universe and the hypothesis of how things came to be are under extreme investigation. New pictures uncover a universe that varies in a general sense from past models. The S8 strain has filled in as an early cautioning, with specialists who still stick to old speculations now wrestling with the acknowledgement that how we might interpret the universe might be inadequate. This vulnerability has left quite a large number of examiners grieved and disappointed. To address this emergency, we must comprehend how science functions. Speculative researchers utilize a mix of numerical models, observational information, and sensible thinking to show up at ends. Their insight comes from seeing oddities, test results, and speculative investigation. The term hypothesis itself suggests developments and thoughts as opposed to out-and-out -out realities. Our judicious information comes from pictures gave by telescopes, sound waves, and radiation caught by radio telescopes, as well as information from neutrino and gravitational wave identifiers. The James Webb Space Telescope permits us to separate the most established light into individual frequencies and examine it in phenomenal detail. It can show which components were available in cosmic systems billions of years prior, the mass held inside them, 
and the quantity of stars present. Anyway, Webb's pictures may have limitations. For example, it can't effectively recognize systems or dark openings that produce comparable splendor due to gravitational lensing. Our understanding has advanced to consider different conceivable outcomes as bits of seeing, frequently excusing elective clarifications. New revelations from the James Webb Telescope offer crucial signs that could prompt supplanting old speculations with new bits of knowledge. Researchers are presently wrestling with these disclosures, which appear to be so uncommon that finding new explanations is proving testing. The most recent revelations are shaking the underpinnings of physical science, causing concern among numerous specialists. Physical science standards today are still emphatically impacted by Isaac Newton's 17th century work. For quite a long time, his regulations of movement and gravity have given the establishment for understanding the actual world and the universe. Newton's regulations function admirably under typical conditions on Earth. Anyway, in space, his thoughts required extension, to a great extent achieved by Albert Einstein during the 20th century. Einstein's unique hypothesis of relativity, published in 1905, changed how we might interpret reality, showing that the laws of physical science are comparative with the observer's movement. His general hypothesis of relativity, published in 1915, broaden these thoughts with numerical forecasts of gravitational peculiarities in view of the curve of spacetime brought about by masses like stars or worlds. While Einstein's speculations were clear in numerous areas, he perceived their limits and looked for a unifying structure. Without progress, no researcher has yet prevailed in this try. It is interesting to consider where the blunders could lie. Michio Kaku, a noticeable American astrophysicist, suggested that taking care of this issue could lead to a Nobel Prize. We really want to investigate what reality could have been misconstrued, whether there have been misinterpretations of peculiarities, or if telescopes themselves may be to blame. Dark matter and dark energy are top suspects in the cosmological emergency. Current models propose that dark matter and dark energy together account for around 95% of the universe. Anyway, neither has been straightforwardly noticed or demonstrated to exist. They may not exist at all or maybe have properties we don't yet comprehend. One chance being examined is that dark matter's properties could have developed after some time, possibly showing some type of intelligence. Gravity, which ought to cause a fascination through mass or spacetime, has not been authoritatively displayed to act true to form. Regardless of the truth that spacetime bend thoughts from Einstein have been approved various times, we can't altogether preclude the plausibility that gravity has surprising properties or that some other impact is causing gravitational fascination over time. Specific attributes in cosmology and space science have been laid out as central constants, acknowledged as dependable generally due to their consistency. Estimations propose that little varieties in these constants could offer new bits of knowledge into the universe, conceivably making sense of peculiarities without dark energy. It is additionally conceivable that our interpretations of light shifts have been wrong, prompting mistaken distance evaluations and cosmic system ages. Maybe our presumptions about the universe's circumstances were defective, or we misread the cosmic microwave background radiation. It could try and be that the universe doesn't start from a solitary beginning stage, challenging the hypothesis of the Big Bang. Little blunders in the Webb telescope or other observational gadgets can't be precluded. Specialists and researchers recognize that botches in instrumentation, information handling, or understanding are generally conceivable. The continuous reassessment of cosmological speculations highlights the fundamental nature of logical advancement, the capacity to adjust and propel our understanding in light of new proof. The James Webb Space Telescope's perceptions are something other than a technological jump. They address a huge moment in our excursion to disentangle the universe's insider facts. As we grapple with these disclosures, it is fundamental to perceive the more extensive setting and ramifications of such consistent changes in the domain of cosmology. The method involved is frequently driven by the need to refine speculations in agreement with new experiences. The revelation of peculiar abnormalities or irregularities in laid-out speculations can be agitating. However, it additionally presents a significant chance for logical advance. Theoretical models in cosmology are created to give a clear structure for understanding the universe's starting points, advancement, and development. Anyway, as new information arises, these models should be tried, 
and if necessary, reconsidered to oblige new experiences. One significant area of center is the nature of dark matter and dark energy, which are fundamental for contemporary cosmological models. Dark matter, an imperceptible type of issue that doesn't emanate or absorb light, was proposed to make sense of inconsistencies between notice system pivots and the mass anticipated by noticeable matter alone. Comparatively, dark energy was acquainted to represent the noticed sped-up development of the universe. Anyway, regardless of their basic jobs in current models, both dark matter and dark energy remain tricky, with investigations on Earth having up until this point neglected to conclusively distinguish them. This has driven scientists to investigate elective theories and potential clarifications. The test of grasping dark matter and dark energy is intensified by the immense degree associated with cosmological examinations. Perceptions of far-off worlds, the cosmic microwave background radiation, and other grand peculiarities give backhanded proof of these parts. Yet their careful nature remains subtle. This vulnerability has incited researchers to consider a scope of Hypotheses from changes to existing models to totally new standards. A few speculations propose that dark matter could be made out of more fascinating particles than recently suspected or that dark energy could address a new central force. Another fascinating area of cosmological examination is the investigation of inestimable expansion. This hypothesis suggests that the universe went through fast extension in its earliest minutes, prompting the enormous scale structure we notice today. While inflationary hypothesis has effectively made sense of numerous parts of the universe, like its homogeneity and flatness, it likewise brings up issues about the nature of the inflationary period itself. Perceptions that challenge laid-out models of expansion could prompt updates by the way we decipher the universe's initial history. At long last, the look for extraterrestrial life remains a main impetus in space investigation. The disclosure of exoplanets, planets circling stars outside our nearby planet group, has opened up new roads for considering the conditions vital for life. Advances in telescope innovation, for example, the James Webb Space Telescope, empower us to investigate the environments of these exoplanets for potential biomarker marks. The chance of finding life past Earth has significant suggestions for how we might interpret the universe and our place within it. In conclusion, the reassessment of cosmological hypotheses considering new perceptions is a demonstration of the strength of the logical technique. The James Webb Space Telescope and other high-level perception instruments have given amazing experiences into the universe, provoking researchers to return to and refine long-held speculations. This cycle of consistent request and correction is fundamental for propelling our comprehension of the universe and resolving the principal questions that lie at the core of cosmology and space science. As we keep on investigating the universe, we remain participated in a mission for knowledge that not just seeks to address key inquiries, but also moves people in the future to push the limits of human understanding.